All right, good evening. Six o'clock on the 3rd of October. It's a Tuesday evening special. We've got several thunderstorms in progress at dinner time this evening. A cluster of storms across southeast Texas down to the coast. None of those are severe in the sense of hail, wind, tornadoes, but they are producing heavy rainfall that will cause some street flooding this evening, especially out of the heavier storms. Across portions of the Permian Basin down into west central Texas, we are dealing with severe storms. These storms are generally capable of producing hail up to the size of golf balls and tennis balls, at least the most intense storms. And we just had a storm roll through Midland with over 70 mile an hour winds and blowing dust galore. We had a haboob roll on through town. Some of these storms are moving east at about 20 miles an hour, but we're dealing with a lot of splitting storms this evening. So the right splits are moving east at about 20. The left splits are moving northeast at about 40. And the left splits have tended to be the ones that have the biggest issues so far with the hail and wind this evening. But we're going to have to keep an eye out on some of these right splits as well, especially that storm just southeast of Big Spring. We've got one on 180 east of Gale moving towards Snyder. And then we've got one southwest of Sheffield, down way down in southwest Texas between Sheffield and Sanderson. Otherwise, storms in west Texas and the Panhandle so far struggling to develop, but that may change this evening. We'll just have to see. Here's a look at the North American model. It's handling the overall storms pretty well this evening, but in terms of, hey, look, the right graphic, in terms of what we're expecting, this is generally the expectation. It's probably a bit overzealous with the overall storm development, but nevertheless, we are expecting storms to continue past sunset, but begin weakening by 10 to 11 o'clock. Until then, strongest storms could be capable of, you know, capable of producing hail up to the size of tennis balls, localized winds over 70 miles an hour, heavy rainfall. We can't totally rule out a tornado, but tonight's tornado threat remains very low. Otherwise, scattered showers and maybe some storms will continue overnight across southeast Texas. We may even see some showers pop up closer to sunrise across the eastern half of Texas as well with those gusty south winds continuing with the low-level jet. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, or by downloading the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app, get your local weather forecasts, interactive weather radar, storm chasing video, and live severe weather coverage. We'll keep an eye on things here. Hope you'll do the same. You'll have a good evening.